Hi, Spirit Hill families. Welcome to the end of week two of Love in Action, the theme that our Spirit Hill youth and young adults are exploring through January and February. Now, I want to say a big thank you to all of the families that came out this past Sunday in that super cold weather to pick up their Love in Action bags or boxes. We, um, by we, I mean myself, Toby, and Pastor Jordan had special activities for all of our children uh, that came that Sunday. And I want to just take a quick moment for to go over some of those activities um, and what you need to do with them. And I'll tell you what you can do if you were not able to join us this past Sunday. There is an option to still participate in the love and action activities that went out to our Spirit Hill families. Now, because we had to move our kickoff from uh, January 17th to this past Sunday, we are two weeks in. So if you received your bags, you will want to find two cards. You will want to find week one card, which introduces us to our love and action theme. And then you will want to find the week two card, which we are exploring the concept or theme of treat people how you want to be treated. So that is one of the things that our Spirit Hill children are doing each week is we are exploring the love in action theme big, but then each week we're focusing on a very specific concept that helps us understand love. Love in different forms. And I, when I say love, I don't mean just the love that we have for our, uh, our husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend or, or mother or father or brother or sister or grandparents. This is a concept of love that is much, that is very big and very broad. So it can mean all those things, but it also can mean the love that we have for our friends and the love that we have for others, even strangers, by the activities our choices, our actions that we take. So week one, we were exploring our big concepts through these two scriptures. And now faith, hope, and love abide. These three things, and the greatest of these is love. And this is from 1 Corinthians. The other scripture that is guiding us is children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And this is from 1 John. Those two scriptures will be guiding us through these next few weeks into February and the start of Lent. And I want you to think about that, that while we can say words and mean them, sometimes our actions are far stronger than our words. Now for your week one activities, there's a couple things that you will need to find in your bag. You will need to find your coloring poster. This will take us, you can put hang this up in your room or somewhere in your house to remember your love and action theme. And to color that poster, you should have a pack of markers in there. So that is one of your activities. And for your prayer, you should find a pink, purple, or red art in your bag. So those are what you need to do your first week activities. The second week activities, uh, we are focusing on treat people how you want to be treated. Specifically, I want you to think about this scripture from Luke, do to others as you would have them do to you. Hmm. This is a really hard concept, even for adults especially when someone hurts us very badly, not necessarily physical, but think about yelling at you or bullying you. What is it that we can do to counteract that? To still show love to that person, even if they've hurt us. And that is a really hard thing for kids and adults. So this is, this week we're finishing up exploring that theme. Now, some of the things that you need from your bag for this week is for your, you'll need to find your scripture booklet to read your scripture from Luke. You will need to find 
your heart stickers for your prayers. And you'll need to find your blank paper heart and your markers from this past week. So those are all of the activities for this week, the first two weeks that you can work through for Sunday. Now, Sunday starts week three, and we will be exploring the theme of stand against injustice and do what is right. Now, this is another super big concept that's hard for adults and kids. But as kids, we can start working towards understanding that so we can keep growing and following these actions. So one of the two of our two things on here that I want to point out for week three this Sunday is that there are there is a Q, what we call a QR code on here. This QR code, if you have a tablet or phone or you're borrowing your parents' phone, even your computer, can be read and it'll take you to a really fun video um, to watch. And more importantly, there is a QR code that will take you to our first Spirit Hill Zoom get together. 10.30 this Sunday, January 31st. I would love all of our Spirit Hill kids, no matter how big, how little, right right from our little guys all the way through grade five, we are gonna have our first hangout. We have, um, I've missed all of you and those families that have come to our family worships. I can see how much those kids wanna see each other. So we are gonna have a short 30 minute Zoom session where we can get together and talk and say hello. We can talk about love in action. We can just be together. And that is the importance. Now, if you cannot scan this QR code in this email today, down below, there is a link to click. So your adult can help you click that link or you can just scan the QR code with your tablet or phone and it'll pop up the Zoom as well. Now, what happens if you didn't make it this past Sunday and you do not have these materials? There's a few things. In this email, with those links, are links to these cards. So you can actually get the activities. Your grown-up can download them and you can get them. And you can work through them. You don't always need all the activities. You may have some of these things within your own home. If you really, really do not have the materials and you would like help with it, I can arrange, You can your grown-up can arrange to email or call me and I will help you to get these materials to get so you can participate in the love and action activities. So again, just recap, if you do not have the love and action materials, you can download them, find your own, or your grown-up can call and reach out to me or email me and I will help you to get those materials. So week one and two, work through those activities, the prayers. This Sunday, start of week three, I will hopefully see you at 10.30 a.m. in our Zoom get together for Spirit Hill. And if I don't, start working on week three. And until then, have a wonderful weekend. It's supposed to be very chilly, chilly, chilly this weekend. So stay warm and stay safe. And I miss you all, Spirit Hill kids. We'll see you soon. Bye.